up guys, Kevin here. Today I'm driving five hours from Austria to Italy to visit the Union Binding Factory. In the past, I've owned lots of different Union Bindings and Union is a company that's just known for their durability, quality, and also style. So I'm really looking forward to getting to the factory and checking out the manufacturing process. But first we have this five hour drive through the Alps. Should be some incredible views. guys so we've arrived at the Union factory here in Italy gonna give you guys an inside look into what goes on in this building so as you walk in we have this massive mural and it has Travis Rice one of the team riders riding just an absolutely insane line in Alaska and a really cool entrance mural to the factory. Here at the factory, they don't just have the warehouse and assembly, they also have the first stages of planning. So we can take a look at some early sketches and then turn those into a 3D prototype. In this room, they can build prototype parts using this massive 3D printing machine. So here they can build high backs, base plates, and even straps. And these are made of nylon. So they can actually ride and test the prototypes. It's strong enough and as durable, almost as durable as the real thing. So to print a base plate, it takes two hours and 42 minutes. And it's all gonna happen inside of here. Alright guys, so this is the machine that forges the carbon high backs. An incredible amount of pressure and some heat that goes into forging the carbon and molding it into a high back. So this is the original piece of carbon that gets put into the machine. And this is the finished high back. Just needs a bit of polishing up and painting. And you got the finished product. So now we're in the assembly area of the factory where we'll get to see some of the processes of the bindings being put together. Behind me guys is the warehouse where you can see there are tens of thousands of bindings waiting to be shipped around the world. Alright guys, so we're in the testing area where they put the bindings through different tests to see the durability. We got the flex test. The next test guys is the snatch test where they simulate if you were to get your board caught and your bindings holding onto the board. So the durability of how strong the base plate is gonna be able to hold to your snowboard. Oh. 
So next up we have the impact test where they test the durability of the high back to a strong impact. All right guys, so we are up on the roof of the Union Factory. On one side we have these natural light panels letting light into the factory to reduce the amount of electricity being used. And on this side we have solar panels. So more clean energy helping to power the factory. So it's cool to see another factory in snowboarding trying to be as clean as possible. What's over here? What is this? Hello? Oh, that's some bindings. 2017? Oh, 2016? 2006? 2005? We've stumbled into the Union Archives, the first ever pair of Union bindings right here. Back in the day, it's heavy, super heavy. So this is crazy, so from day one, binding one. If anyone has some ancient bindings, let me know about it in the comments. So guys, when I think of Union, this is definitely the look and the style that I remember. So this is a pair of Forces from 2016. Brand new, never been worn. This is definitely like the high back look with that clean, just white with the black logo. You can see from 2005 to 2016, so much change and in innovation. Bold face. Dinosaurs will die collab. Okay guys, so we're heading into the 3D printing room to see the finished prototypes. Okay guys, so this is the prototype that came out of the 3D machine. And this is actually a piece that they can ride and test on snow. It's amazing, they can make a piece, test it out, see if it works, or if they need to retool it, but really amazing process. So here guys, we have the encased archived bindings of all the collaborations. A few favorites that stand out to me, we got the Cobra Dogs collab, one of my favorite places to eat in the summertime at Mount Hood, shout out to Cobra Dogs. Also Protect Our Winters, a great organization that raises money to help protect the environment. The Bald Face collab, amazing powder destination, I hope I get to ride one day. Also the Kazu collab, for snowboarding in Japan, I don't think you can go wrong with a set of Kazu bindings. On this wall behind me, we've got a lot of bindings from the last few seasons. The Union Strata, this is actually a binding that I own. I like it in the park because it's not too soft, but it's also not too stiff. So it's flexible enough so that you can get into tricks. We also have the Forces. I bought these a few months ago. All right guys, and then this is the finished carbon fiber high back. You can see it's been trimmed, sanded, and painted, but it still has that carbon fiber look to it. And two bindings that I've written in the past, the Atlas and the Contact Pro. The Contact Pro, definitely a great park binding, softer flex, and with the smaller disc. And then the Atlas, which is like the opposite feeling, much stiffer with more rigid straps so that when you're charging through powder or difficult terrain, it's really gonna be responsive and hold up. All 
All right guys, so that is the end of our day here at the Union Binding Factory. It was pretty amazing to meet some of the people behind the brand, see some of the machines, and some of the creative processes that go into making the bindings. And overall, it definitely exceeded my expectations of the effort that goes into it. I feel really lucky to have come here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any questions about Union Bindings, let me know down in the comments. Thanks again so much for watching guys. I hope you're having fun out there snowboarding and I'll see you in the next one soon.